girl, and talk about somebody else's <laughs> physical, physical messed up, girl. Go to these this big teeth store. Before. I don't know. We, we're going to go from the, from the frying pan into the fire. Cause now we're going to go into this story about looks. <coughs> and I already know this is not going to go well with this group. Oh, God. I'm going to try to keep my poker face together. Tiny and T.I.'s son, King Harris, recently complained about Sexy Red and the baby's prices for a feature on a song. Take a look. Well, like the baby tried to charge me a hundred K for a feature one time. Like, like stuff like that, bro. I'm not. Because if I put you and I support you, I wouldn't do that to them. I ain't never did that to no. Sexy Red quoted him $50,000 for a verse, and the baby allegedly quoted $100,000. Do you think he was out of line for complaining about their rape? Who wants to go first on this one? I'll go first. You, you want to go? I'll go first. I did okay. let Q close us out. So you know what? He comes from T.I. and Tiny. They have two of the top rates in the business. So I don't understand why he doesn't understand why when he reach out to these stars that they have the rate that they've earned to charge. You know, I, I don't. I really don't get it. But you know what? He might want to revisit the, the baby one because I'm sure his rate has gone down. <clears throat> or he can also go to J. Cole because J. Cole uh, charges by the word, not by the verse. See, Kendrick Lamar charges by the verse, which is like between two hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a verse. J. Cole charges by the word, and he only charges two thousand dollars a word. So maybe King, you could run on over there to J. Cole's house and see if you can, you know, get a little cheaper deal. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on? Well, you know, I, I have I, I have two options here. I can um, <laughs> I can just drive this bus straight to hell, <laughs> or I can be the mature forty year old that, that I made it to be. Yeah. I'm gonna no. opt on this good Monday. <laughs> drive that bus, boy! Drive that bus. To I be told good, you at forty, to be, to be the good forty year old. So here's the thing. There's one thing I want to address. Right? He said. I wouldn't do that to anybody. King, hear me, hear me good, son, because I, I don't want to shit on nobody's children. I wouldn't do that to anybody. You can't do it to anybody. And I'm not being shady about what I'm about to say. You can't do it to anybody because the product that you have to offer is not of that value. So you don't even have the option of doing that to somebody. And I just hate the fact that sometimes we can provide our children with so much and 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 provide such a lavish lifestyle for them that and, and put them in arenas with people that they did not have to work to be in arenas with that they begin to feel like they deserve all the things that come along with being in these spaces and young man you've got to understand that you are in these spaces not because you work to be there but by proxy and by proximity because of your parents um Sexy Red being on a song with King Harris does absolutely nothing for her brown booty hole and her pink tuta. And the baby and King being together, it does nothing for him, but it does everything for you, King. It would just seem to me if you wanted an in-kind donation or somebody to volunteer their time, you would have asked your father for a hook, your, your father for a verse, and your mother for a hook. Speaking of his father, and we have to, of course, touch upon this briefly because it was all over social media all over the weekend. KX said they was calling him Chief Keith, and T.I., his daddy, was dying laughing at him. There was an interview. So, he had, you know, T.I. had a good sense of humor about the jokes because, you know, he apparently went and got went to Columbia and got his uh, veneers done. And they're really white and brand new, and um, he got them done. And, and the, everybody in the comments and the chat is really trying to tempt me and putting, like, mad teeth in. in the <laughs> Let me tell you something really quickly about these teeth, and I had to learn. Dr. Heavenly told me your teeth are supposed to be the color of the whites of your eyes. Okay. And I think with black people, the fake teeth have become what the big lips have become to white women. It's Ooh. become, a, it's become a status symbol, yeah. right? So y'all go out and get these teeth and y'all want people to know that you got your teeth done. So you get them super white and you get them super big and you actually like that look. It's your mouth have at it, but that's not a natural look. Nobody <clears throat> thinks they're supposed to be that white and they're damn sure not supposed to be that big. And I'm sorry, what I can't do in this moment is allow Tiny and Zanique 
to talk to us like we crazy because I get it. That's Tiny's child. And she came to his defense on social media about his teeth. But y'all not gonna make y'all not gonna make us seem like we stupid that them damn teeth is not too big for his Well teeth. she said T I said in, in the interview that he had over the weekend <clears throat> that he was being supportive of his of his son and his teeth. And the mama came in and when she saw him and she was like, Well damn you got some big teeth. <laughs> you know, I but then they, the one, then they, then they Johnny, clapping Johnny back. Johnny was the one that was like, damn. They I, clapping Johnny's back the at the haters. And, I mean, not the haters, but they clapping yeah. back at the people who have yeah, something like, yeah, to say. Yeah, and I understand it. That's your baby. That's their kid. I, I right. get it. I 100% get it. But we not going to act like them teeth ain't fucked up. Because they are. <laughs> Aww. You okay. won't want them. I don't think I can fit him. <laughs> and I don't think, but this dad did say the good thing is he felt like that, that, uh, that, uh, what's his name would grow into his teeth because he's still got a lot of growing to do. So there we have it. All right. We got through that one pretty good. You guys, <laughs> we are growing up here. At we Tim. are. Q doesn't really? pass 40. Now he like being responsible. Damn. Uh, we, we took the high classy road.